just being def desperate, like Coach said, just, you know, you know, you lose something, you win something, you just can't, you know, have that, that weight on you. So, you know, definitely going into the next game, just play with, you know, with all you got and give it 100% effort. The second half, you guys, really the reason you guys lost with the first half, kind of the last five minutes, that, that stretch kind of got away from you, but the second half you played much better defense. Was there just kind of a message at halftime to get you guys to, to play more desperate, more high on the defense team? Yeah, just giving us more energy, more juice um, in the locker room. You know, we noticed that we wasn't playing as well as we should have in the first half, and we tried to correct it, you know, going into the second half and try to, you know, just be better defensively and rebounding. Antonio, you, you've been around college basketball for a long time, and uh, some of these guys are young. A lot of them are. Yeah. It's kind of a low point of the season, multiple home losses in a row. How do they bounce back? You, you've been around them a while now. Um, I feel like we just need to stay together. You know, everybody stays together at the end of the day. You know, we don't have a problem with that. So, you know, just continue doing that and continue just talking to one another and juicing each other up so we can, you know, stay focused. You guys were in kind of a similar spot last season. We kind of had some losses starting to pile up. And you guys kind of turned it around before the tournament. Mm -hmm. Is it kind of the same situation or just different team, different vibe, different Different industry? vibe, different team. Um, I feel like nobody's upset too much, but, you know, everybody's sticking together as one. So I don't think that would be the problem. I think everybody still, you know, that's one, and we just need to, you know, bounce back to the next game. Antonio, how hard is it to believe that you guys have lost three straight home games in this place? It's very tough, you know, just thinking about it. And, you know, as me being one of the leaders, I know stuff happens and adversity happens throughout the season. So, you know, just making sure the guys are okay is, is what I'm, I'm looking forward to. Do you feel like this group is kind of at a critical point? It's almost now or never to get this thing turned around and headed back in, in the good direction? Yeah, for sure. You know, a lot of stuff going to be, you know, said in the locker room and, you know, just to correct it. You know, we need that, you know, toughness and physicality, you know, throughout the practices and things like that. And, you know, that's how that's what we really need. Can this team reach that point the, with the toughness and the physicality and, and getting on the glass? Yeah, for sure. You know, I feel like we have it, we have it in us, you know. You know, just keep practicing, keep, you know, focusing on, you know, those type of things and we're going to get better at it. I know DJ didn't play much tonight, but just kind of what was it like to have him back on the floor? He's obviously talking and uh, was frustrating at times, but just having that communication on the floor, how, how much beneficial is that? Uh, That's very beneficial. You know, DJ talks, his energy, you know, keeps us up. And, you know, we missed that, you know, these past couple games. And, you know, as he continue to get on the floor, you know, we really going to need that. So. You know, I'm very happy that he's back on the floor. Yeah. How are we all this to in? figure out the 50-50 the ball, not giving up offensive rebounds over and over again, kind of piece of this. Cal talks about rebounding his defense, too, and too many of those went right back to them when they missed tonight. Yeah, just being down low, just being more physical, it, it is what it is, you know. You just have to be down there. As, you know, for all five guys got to, you know, just make sure they – uh, man, get the ball at the end of the day, and that's what it is. So, you know, definitely just got to work on that in practice. Coach Cal said that the, the lob to do was the first option, but you were the, the second for maybe a two or a three. Mm -hmm. How much does it hurt to not even get the opportunity to maybe tie or win the game? Um, well, it, it hurts, you know, because we lost, but, you know, I'm not too mad, you know. We tried to make the uh, right play at the end of, end of the game, so. You know, you just can't be mad at him because he's been hooping the whole game. So, you know, stuff happens, and you know, we just got to get it. We just got to get another dub next game. Justin said that you know your guys' goal at the start of the game was to get three kills in a row, mm -hmm. and obviously that didn't happen. Gonzaga got off to a hot start. Mm -hmm. You guys defended well in the second half, and then not at the end of the game. What's going wrong for you guys to not be able to put together a game defensively? Um, just need to lock in more. You know, at the beginning of the games, just try to throw the first punch. It, it, it is what it is. Uh, just try to figure that out, you know, in practice. So, you know, we just can't get pumped at, at the uh, first four minutes. How much are you all missing Trey out there for a game like this when rebounding was kind of struggling, just struggling to defend in the post? How much do you think he would have helped? No, he would help a lot, for sure. You know, his physicality, his, you know, big body down there, you know, it, it moves a lot of pieces there. You know, we really miss that. And, you know, when he comes back, you know, it's definitely going to be, you know, a lot of, you know, rebounding and just, you know, physicality down there. On these, these losses, South Carolina, Tennessee, and today, 
guys real big, fifth year, fourth year seniors and things like that. Mm. What can the freshmen, just 18, 19, do to kind of, you know, be more physical on the boards? Is there any technique that you guys can learn in practice? Because, you know, they can't just gain 20 pounds and even the, even the score. Um, just having a dog, being more physical, you know, going to guys like me in practice every day, you know, and that's what it is, you know, just trying to figure that out and practice, try to, you know, try to do drills as much as possible just to get, you know, phys more physical because, you know, you can be the smallest guy out there, but you can definitely hit somebody that's big, so, you know, definitely, definitely got to do that. As a, one of the senior guys that everybody's looking to on this team, what do you say in your locker room to your teammates when you've lost three, three straight at home? I definitely just say keep your head up. You know the season's not over with. You still got, you know, a lot more, you know, games left. Um, still got the tournaments and stuff like that. You know we need to focus on, and it ain't over with. You know we can definitely make a long run. So, what do you think the team needs, Tony, to turn the corner and get a win next time you guys get on the court? Um, I feel like it's just more so the desperate part. You know we won a couple games that don't need to try to worry about. You know at the end of the game, just try to worry about. Throwing the first punch and try to rebound and try to be physical, you know, and we got to just come together, you know, as one with that. So I feel like that's one of the things we have to do. It felt like, at least at the beginning of this game, one team was feeling desperate to get a win. Yeah. And, and yeah. maybe you guys didn't have that same urgency until until you got up and until you had that. Yeah. Is there, a, is there something to finding a way to not waiting until you're down to feel that sense of urgency? Um. Well, that's tough. Um, just mainly try to get the guys juiced up, you know, at the beginning of the game. You know, me being a leader, you know, try to figure that out as well. You know, try to, you know, they're, they're freshmen, you know, they never play in these type of environments and things like that. So, you know, we definitely have to have more energy coming into the game. Should it be easier to be desperate after these last three home games? No, for sure. I mean, definitely, you know, definitely be desperate because we lost too many games at home and it's not regular to lose these many games at home. So, you know, we definitely got to come out, you know, the next home game on fire. Next time. Yeah.